Welcome to Pokemon Masters Council. We got another how to use guide. Today we're doing something a little bit different because it's basically a primarily VGC only set guide. We're talking about something very unique but very, very powerful. But I'm not alone. I got my brother Zero. What's up, buddy? <coughs> yeah, dude. I mean, we're talking about Zazu, the, the bird himself. <laughs> There's no Honchkrow. Move over, buddy. The little bird. The little brother's coming in here. We're talking about Murkrow today. So why on earth are we talking about a not fully evolved Pokemon so early in the meta? Well, Zero, that's because he, this little guy, this little bird, is number two in usage stats in Series 1 right now. He is 27.69% of the meta right now in VGC. You know, uh, another another reason you see more of this Pokemon over Honchkrow is because it has a better design. Yep, a better design and better ability. So let's just jump right in here and uh, let's talk about that. But before we do, I want to give a special shout out to all of our recent subscribers. Hello, welcome to the Pokemon Masters Council. Welcome to the journey. We are on that hype train. We are on the road to a thousand subscribers. Keep smashing that big red button. Hit the bell to stay notified for every time we put up a new how to use guide for Series 9 Competitive Scarlet and Violet set guides. Also, share with your friends. Anybody else that you think would play Pokemon or enjoy Pokemon content, share that with them. We also have a Spotify. Go check that out. We also have a Spotify. Go check that out. Link will be in the description where we also put the audio version of our podcast every two weeks. Justin, you're really good at that. You should be a YouTuber, dude. <laughs> so, Murkrow, Dark Flying Zero, but uh, we can't bury the lead too long. Let's talk about why we're here. It's not Insomnia. It's not Super Luck. Nobody is ever going to run that. That's literally not the reason we're here. It's because of Prankster. Oh, lo and behold, we have a dark type prankster Pokemon ruling the support metagame in VGC. Absolutely where incredible. We, where have we seen this before? And on top of that, it's a flying type and it's prankster tailwind, baby. Nobody is surprised that a prankster tailwind Pokemon is high usage, but wow, second place? Holy cow. Uh, this thing is actually legitimately amazing. So... Let's get in here and talk about it. Uh, we have, obviously, Prankster, for people that don't know, gives you priority moves on all of your status moves. So things like Tailwind, Taunt, Haze, etc. Very, very, very powerful. But, Prankster specifically, you cannot do it against enemy Dark types. They're immune to the ability Prankster. So, you can't Taunt another Murkrow. You can't, you know, Prankster Thunder Wave, uh, a... a King Gambit or something like that, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, uh, what do we got for this little guy? Came out in Hoenn. It does have an evolution that came out in Sinnoh, but we're using this one. 60 HP, 85 attack, 42 for both defenses, 85 for both Ouch. offenses, and 91 speed. So, respectable speed, but he's pretty trash, right? Like, he's not good. <laughs> On paper, yeah, this is all pretty bad. But... Pokemon introduced a few years back a little item called the Aviolite. So if you're not fully evolved, it'll give you a plus one to both defenses. Very, yeah, so very, very useful. Yeah, so all of a sudden turning this very squishy Pokemon into a slightly not so squishy Pokemon. It means they have to invest a real attack or take two turns. Right, and that's important, especially if you're a support Pokemon. You want to get off your, your annoying moves with Absolutely. So, this thing has an incredible move pool. On top of having a good typing in dark and flying, it gives him a good move pool, a good base speed, with which to use the Prankster ability. Because the ability is only as good as what moves you have to throw out, right? This thing gets Tailwind. Zero, talk to me how much you love Prankster Taunt. Wow, is this good. Prankster Taunt, this is the reason you're not seeing a lot of Trick Room right now, because it is hard to taunt or it is hard to set up a trick room on something that can taunt you. Uh, it's really good against things like a Moongus, so you can get that taunt off before they can rage powder or, or, or before they before they spore or whatever it may be. That you one's know, actually you can, really incredibly impactful. You can uh, you can taunt protects, so like yep. you can taunt them and then you force them 
into a move. You can taunt other support Pokemon like Mousehold. Yeah. So they can't encore you. They can't. I like know, that call of be. stopping the Trick Room because he's actually really good uh, up against leads like Armor Rouge, who love. He's actually really high in the meta. He's top ten right now, uh, and he very often packs things like Trick Room and Wide Guard, which is a very broken, spammable move. Uh, and Taunt just stops that completely dead in its track. So very, very for me personally, I'll never leave home without uh, Taunt and Tailwind on Murkrow. Those two have to be their staple. So you are only got two move slots, basically, in Justin's mind, right? This is what we're working with here. Right, right, right. Uh, he also has some really awesome tech here, bro. Let's talk about the fact that he gets Haze. Wow, what does Haze do? So Haze erases all of the stat changes on the field. Field so, wide. So your allies field too. Field wide. So you can erase, you know, a swords dance on the opposing Cerule Edge. Or we've seen this before in a video that we will link in the description below using this Pokemon with Cerule Edge. We, you can erase like you know, Snarl stat drops or Icy Wind stat drops. Yep. We, that happened against us. Someone hazed the field, brought their Hydreigon speed back up, and dropped a Draco on us on camera. It was awesome. Yeah, it, yeah I mean, it, it was painful, but it was cool. Yeah. There's also some really good tech with this guy, because like we said, it is base 91 speed. Uh, he, gets, he does get things like Icy Wind. Great. It's a spread move. Ice uh, type good damage you know good good offensive typing in the meta hits a lot of things super effective and drop speed and then on top of that he also does get the option for things like thunder wave quash so thunder wave obviously point click as long as you hit it knock on wood uh you paralyze and then quash you point click to something and it makes them go last that turn does no speed doesn't matter about trick room or tailwind or priority or anything it makes you act last so quash is very powerful too uh, so yeah, let's get into this set. Let's talk about it. This, like I said, this is gonna be a different guide because Murkrow kind of only does one thing, but he does it really, really well. And he has a few options of how he does it, but he's gonna be your support. He's your prankster support. Absolutely. So, Justin, talk about the set here. Let's rattle it off for us. So we have uh, there's again, results may vary. You maybe for you you want to invest. Uh, more into a couple of defensive options here or there for specific calcs, but basically just out the gate, max HP, max speed. That's how I'm running it. I want the, to utilize uh, the Violite as best I can, so just pump it as much into the HP, kind of like the same thing that we've done in the past with um, Dusclops. Yeah, and yep. then so you're kind of going like a, a top-down approach here, just get yeah. that overall stat and then put a nice hat on it yeah max hp max then... speed i want to use that 91 because again he does get a very very powerful move in foul play link will be in the description there's a reason that that boy hit the thumbnail wow uh, i will never leave home without foul play ever on my murkrow in zero in series one man that's that's never happening ever. how impressed were you how awesome was did you, he he was the he was the the hero we we what, what's the saying He's the hero we deserve, we we need, not the one we deserve, or something. Yeah, like, dude, absolutely. Dude. He took so many KOs in that video with foul play because, you know, there's so many, you know, people popping swords dance and. If we people don't know pop. what foul play is, bro, go for it. So foul play is a base 95 dark move that also increases in power if your opponent's attack that. Is high, so like the higher their attack, it yep. adds more. The onto more the base physical the attack that play. that Pokemon has currently, when hit by foul play, the stronger foul play gets. So when they swords dance, they take more damage at the bottom of the turn when you get hit by the ninety-one speed foul play on things like Garchomp. Again, I have to link in the I have to say this. I have to say this about foul play. This move is underrated in the same light as strength sap in yep. my opinion it's not as i think strength sap is actually super broken yeah and I, I i called for it to get nerfed last game and it did not uh i think the nerf was kind of the lack of distribution i think that's the nerf that they justify strength sap with follow play i see is so underutilized and it's so strong i think it's an option that a lot of criminally underrated pokemon they should be running this move. Yeah, I, I, I don't. I, I have a hard time 
seeing foul play on a dark type Pokemon and not putting it on there. Yeah. Uh, I think it's. I think that's a really good shout. I do want to shout out the fact that he can do Brave Bird, and it can come in handy in a couple of key uh, key matchups, especially with a couple of Pokemon in the meta that like the Terra Grass. It could come in handy. Uh, Protect is always good. Haze is great. Quash is great. We mentioned the Tailwind, but yeah, that Tailwind Taunt. Those are the two for me. I'll never leave home without. Yeah, absolutely. Like you want to be able to, you know, if you're in a position where. Um, speed helps you, mm-hmm. then use Tailwind. If you're in a position where you need to shut something down on the other side and speed is not necessarily going to help, like, say, like Garganackle, for yeah, example. Yeah, like, if, if you- they lead an Armor Rouge, Taunt's the way to go. If they lead uh, Teemo, uh, Amoongus, Taunt's the way to go. There's so many matchups right now where Taunt is the play turn one. It's very, very powerful in the meta. Right, speed doesn't help you in those matchups, you know what I mean? Because they've got the wide guard, they've got rage powder, all these things. So you want to taunt those. And shut those down. Right, and then you can start quashing things. Because if they switch out to get rid of the taunt, sweet. What did we talk about in our last video? That's just more tempo control for us. We just gained tempo by forcing them switches. Yep, and switches is free damage, and damage damage is always good. Uh, I do want to shout out, yes, you can run Focus Sash. Obviously, he's very squishy, so if you really want to ensure that he lives that turn to get off, maybe that second, you know, he lives on the Sash, so the next turn he could do one more turn of, like, a Prankster move. Sure, absolutely. For me, in testing, also, this is a tournament-winning team. Uh, The Aviolite was great. It was actually made a difference to where it was like, oh, wow, I'm very impressed by... Like, he's not, like, bulky, but he's way bulkier than anyone thinks. So you have to put more investment than what you think you would need to to take out a Murkrow. Does that make sense? I think a Baxcalibur Icicle Crash crit was the only, like, one-hit KO we saw on that Pokemon in that video. Yep, that's it. And and obviously, that's going to kill, like, ten Murkrow. But (laughs) beyond that, like, and again, Terra Steel is a great option. I've seen Terra Poison is a great option. That's the option that we have on the rental code that you see in the Murkrow vid. Uh, there's a lot of good things there because obviously you're going to be dodging out those uh, fairy type moves, I'm assuming is why he was poison. Uh, so much to talk about here. Uh, closing thoughts of this little bird, buddy. Have an answer for it. Put one on your team. Uh, if you if you want to win games, get yourself a Murkrow. Like, it's, it's, uh, it's an essential part of a lot of Series 1 teams right now. It's a real you're threat. Gonna, you're gonna face like a you lot said, of it's, it's second highest usage right now in the entire meta. Yeah. All right, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in to this guy. A little bit of a shorter one today. Like we said, Murkrow is kind of the definition of a one-trick pony, but he does that one job really, really exceptionally well. 28% usage on day of recording. Second highest in the net on Peakalytics. We really appreciate all of your support. Make sure you share this video out for anybody else that's looking to get into VGC. Uh, and stay tuned. We will be doing more uh, guides in the future that obviously are not only VGC. Sorry, Brandon. There's no 3v3 sets for Murkrow. Yeah, he's kind of trash there. I don't even see Hyscrow in 3v3. Hey, worthwhile shout, man. Worthwhile shout. Maybe in the future. Maybe in the future. Yeah, maybe you'll see it on this channel. But until next time, I've been Gym Leader Justin. And I'm Zero. Council's adjourned.